What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing another Kaldheim draft. Might be one of the last ones before Vintage Cube is back. So, oh, and we get a Planeswalker. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm taking the Planeswalker. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look at this rare drafter. Oh, got a Shimmer Drift Veil and a Rhymewood Falls. Rhymewood Falls is nice because it lets us... Uh, it keeps us open for Bant in case we open the, the coma that we're going to eventually open. I guess Shimmer Drifail also does that. But being a tap land, that's one of our colors. I'm going to take this one. This pack is not super strong. I don't actually know if an on-color dual land is better than a Shimmer Drift Falls. Probably not. <laughs> nice rares. <laughs> oh, fuck. Good system. But they were not nice rares. Okay, so this one is pretty complicated, right? It's It enters the battlefield to make X shards. So if you play it for three, it's a three mana, three loyalty planeswalker. You get no shards. So it scales nicely. Uh, plus one, up to one target creature you control can't be blocked, so an unblockable creature. And whenever it deals damage, you bounce it back to its hand. It's kind of weird, but okay. I mean, it's kind of like Vigilance, right? Vigilance and unblockable, I guess. Negative one, it deals two damage to a tapped creature for each card you've drawn this turn. So that's nice. It works well with shard tokens. Shards are literally just clues that let you scry first. This one's not very good. Um, I think I want Glacial Floodplain over Saw It coming here just because it's a solid. It's pronounced Sharts. It, is it? Oh, wow. What a dummy I am. Blizzard Brawl is nice, especially with two lands so far. I think it's probably better than God's Hall Guardian and Mistwalker. Yeah, let's take that. Feed, feed the Serpent's like the best card in this pack. Master Scald's okay. What are we even playing here? Four color non-red snow. Blue, black snow. Splashing green and white, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, we'll finish this up. So if you if you draw like you obviously drawn for the turn whenever you activate this, so it's always going to be two damage. If you crack a shard token, it's four damage, right? If you play like beyond the behold the multiverse, it's you know then you're then you're like six damage, and negative one you start creating shard tokens. So definitely has a lot going on. Priest of the Haunted Edge is pretty good. Great Hall of Starnheim. I'm gonna take Priest here. Now you're just mocking me, making four color, not red. Well, red's not, it's just not good, you know? I don't know what to tell you, buddy. It's just a bad color, you know? Yeah, we'll take Lit Yara Mirror Lake. Maybe we're not black. I don't even know what's going on. Iron Verdict is good. I like an Iron Verdict. Let's take the Courser. It looks like we're, we're significantly more white now. I do like having an Invoke. Eh, Grim Draugr could be good, too. It could be Esper splashing, like, minor green. Yeah, I'll take the, the Grim Draugr. But then we took this double green card.
Port of Carfo, huh? I do like that one. Okay, so I think we're we're heavier black now. <laughs> Red is best, buddy. We both know the truth. Whatever, I'll take Rally. Oh, that's actually interesting. Wow, I'm surprised the Great Hall came back. Okay, we didn't open the coma that we were trying to, guys. And that's 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 unfortunate. We did open a Spirit of Aldergaard. If Arctic Tree Line or Bound or Bergstrider come back, I'm gonna be pretty grateful, but we're not gonna pass a, a spirit here. Man, showdown of the scalds. That's a good one, dude. Man. I think I'm taking snow covered forest over it. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Battle of Frost and Fire. Oh, it's another red one. Look at this. They've literally shown us three good red rares, dude. I'm totally getting owned here. What in the earth? I also do like Maya. How many creatures do we have right now? Four? <laughs> you got one of them as a priest? I think we're just going high on the snow here. I'm passing very legitimate cards here, and it's it's not great, but that's okay. Ooh, Demon Bolt. Easily the best card in this pack. I do see the error of my ways. It's no joke. I'll take Glittering Frost here. Hello, my dear. I'm streaming right now, just so you know. Okay. Okay, bye. What's the hold up here? Oh my god, now a Tundra Fumeral? This is wild, dude. This is actually a wild amount of, of red cards that have been very, very good. We could have Demon Bolt, Tundra Fumeral, Showdown of the Scalds, um, Dragonkin Berserker, and what was the other one? Fro Battle of Frost and Fire. And another Demon Bolt. This is this is insane. The problem is the first pack is not indicative of what we should be in, right? Like opening opening a showdown does not indicate that red is open, right? And getting past Battle of Frost and Fire doesn't either. So I mean I think someone's just gonna have a really good red deck here. I'm actually gonna take the Augury Raven over the Ice Hide Troll. My wife would probably imply something completely different if I had that conversation. <laughs> I don't even know what that could mean. Wow, is this the same one? Did this come back? Because I'm definitely taking it now. Oh, another snow-covered forest wow this is looking nice what is it one two three four five snow lands and two other decent lands 
Oh, streaming right now. Got it, got it. Sorry for my peep. No, you're not. No, you're not. Hell me something good. I think I think I like God's Hall Guardian more than Frost Peak Yeti. Oh, and then the Bound and Gold came back, so that's good. Starnheim Courser, you are pretty much fine, right? You know what? Sure. Another great haul? I'm going to take the, the two one, actually. I'd like to have more cheap, cheap drops. Cheap, 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 cheap. Oh, yeah. I'll take a Master Scald. Oh, Righteous Valkyrie is pretty sweet. Let's take that. We did not open a coma, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, this seems just good. It's just a 2-4 flyer for 3. Like, that's good enough on its own. That's a Cleric. This is a Cleric with 4 toughness. Yeah, alright, we're just taking this guy. Oh, another Blizzard Brawl. Also a Berg Strider. An Augury Raven. Path is nice, but we have no red right now. So, I mean, I'm, I'm probably just going to take Blizzard Brawl number two. Or Snow Covered Plains. Do you know what's good on its own? Red. I, you know, that's, that's not actually untrue. I think it's actually Berg Strider here. We don't have any Berg Striders, and I would like some Berg Striders. 12 creatures looking better. Looking better. Three seasons. Oh, look, we get the snow covered plains anyway. Another Berg Strider, though. Yeah, we're just taking mono Berg Striders here. I can see those planes coming back. <sighs> Ice Tunnel or Faceless Haven? Ooh, now we're talking here. We have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, four colors. I think we got to go Ice Tunnel. Also, the Face Slave might come back. Snow Covered Swamp? Oh, boy. Nice. I accept. So, what is this one? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands uh, out of thirty cards. We have twenty cards. We only have like three playables. Bergy is the best. I mean, this obviously isn't the best planeswalker, but I mean, it's still a planeswalker. <laughs> I mean, we're still going to take it. Like, that's really late. Wow, that's a really late Planeswalker. Sixth pick Planeswalker? I mean, even if it's just an enchantment that makes a 1-1 one -one every turn, like, that's still pretty good. Ooh, Ascendant Spirit in this deck? That's nice. Yeah, this does also help with our Black Splash, so that's kind of cool. Um, I kind of just want to have a Mast Vandal. Because we don't right now, and this is actually 23. 
Come on back, planes. I'll take a snakeskin veil. The planes is not coming back. I don't understand. I'm, I'm very confused. <sighs> yeah, we'll take Pilfering Hawk. Could be better than... Oh, yes! The planes is coming back. Well, one of them came back anyway, and that's just fine. Well, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine snowlands seems decent. How many creatures we got here? 16, nice. Two planeswalkers, <laughs> seems good, all right. Actually, I think Pilfering Ark's probably better than Master Scald here, right? Because, like, we just don't have that many. Wither Crown, I guess it does get a Wither Crown back. It could get a Bound in Gold back if they sack the creature. <laughs> oh, okay, you're going to go over there. You're probably like a six drop, really. Yeah, I could see taking Master Scald out. It doesn't really do that much. Pilfering Hawk can probably get us more value than than the other dude. Um, nope. Not using the no-no man's lands. Is it, did I miss it? Any normal islands? No, I guess we don't have that many. One swamp. We'll see if we want to change these numbers in a second. So this is, uh, we got to take out the three forests and the one swamp. So white sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, five white sources. Blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Which we can't actually take any out because they're all attached to other things, which is fine. Black sources, we have one, two, three, four. Plus glittering frost. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. No, one, two, three, four, five. I think this is probably fine. This is an interesting, interesting deck. Hmm. Oh boy. Three three forests. Fantastic. 
I guess I'll keep it because I can play these cards with a white. That's really terrible. I'm actually, ironically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ship the one green card because it's just not very good with this hand. Any white source or glittering frost is great, but... Not as good. Well, if they're missing a third land, that's actually, that's actually not terrible for us. Although the only thing we can cast here is Ascendant Spirit and not even... <laughs> Not even pump it. Maybe we do take out one forest. No blocks. Thank you. Yep, that seems good. Music Manly, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. missing something? Can I do something? No, 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 no. Oh, I can activate this a second time. That's why it's not. I'm like, what are my options here that I'm missing? Oh, you want me to activate this again? Really, no attack with the 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we're taking out one forest and putting in one, one more planes. I think we just have a lot of white cards. Wow. Double breakneck berserker dot deck over here. Oh, what up, Fritzy? Jeez, isn't that nice? So now we can kill the... Oh, they were indestructible, so I'm an idiot. That's going to be the game. For some reason, I was like, oh, these guys are off the board. I can kill this guy. Now they only have these three, and that's not how that works at all. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, white is our highest represented color. Really wish we got that one more snow plains, but... What can you do? No blue, but double green here, and that's pretty cool. So this guy into this guy into this guy seems decent. Watch, we're going to draw white blue land. It's just a white land, okay. Sandwich mine, counting all the meatballs. You know how we do. I do. I 
I do know how you do. How do you do? You got it. Oh man, so strong. Um, well, we can't play anything else. We might as well. Might as well get in there. So if we equip this, they're just going to, well, let's do that. So now we can mass vandal the wings. That's pretty cool. I'm at 11 hundred, but I'm not done yet. Well, you know what? There's a lot of meatballs, you know. Um, two lands, huh? On the draw? I'll keep it. We'll give it a go. Okay. Okay. Well, at least we get a spirit next turn. <laughs> Man, that would have been great last turn. Comes the demon bolt. Um, wish we had a white black. That would be great. We do need a black source. We do need a white source. Uh, I think the white source with a planeswalker and a grim drog or a uh, bounded gold is a little more important. Nope, seems good. Two, three on here. Oh, we actually can't do any. Well, I guess we can block. <sighs> Pretty sure we're dead here because we just couldn't draw and tap lands in time. Oh, cool. Fucking on onboard death. I'm a fucking moron. Yeah, make sure I make sure you let me discard a card before I, I lose the game. I mean, this might be a, a, an 18 land deck, to be honest.
Thank you. Oh, uh, let's play this guy. Oh, what up, Mark? Welcome back, my dude. 15 months. Barman, you definitely did not just get here. Why would you lie? Unbelievable. Yeah, it's definitely like, I'm like, oh, is this, what is this land? Oh, I didn't even see it because it all looks the same when it's on the other side of the board. And they're just tiny little squares. You didn't see my little square? Yeah, uh, way to go, dummy. Four mana is nice. That's a sweet spot for us. You got it. Oh. I will disdainful stroke your spirit of the Alder Guard. I am a genius wizard. black for that. three cards in hand. Sure. I mean, that seems like a fine trade. Trading their four or five rare menace creature for a bird and one toughness. Saw it coming? Wow, that seems not ideal. Hmm. So this is six, huh? I do want a second green, so I'm, I'm gonna, I want to just throw this out. And if we draw like a double green card, it's also a second blue for this. So now this can be black, this can be blue. And now all we need is one black. Which is pretty nice to get our spirit of the Alder Guard back. Okie dokie. See you later, feed the serpent. How many snow lands do they have? Two? Yeah, that doesn't make Priest that impressive, but I imagine they're going to kill the Hawk. Okay, sure. All right. Oh, double priest. Yep, that's why we wanted the uh, second green source there. My heroics will be known in realms beyond. 
They will remember our names together. Oh, they're copying the burgle. It's pretty good. Killing my bird too? Jeez. I mean, this guy does untap because this was not cast with. Yeah, I'm just jumping here. <laughs> oh, this also gives us a second black for the port. Oh, well, this is actually pretty good. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Untap, make it a 2-2. Two, two. Okay, it was like three lands there. Not, not something I'm super concerned with. We have white, right? We have plenty of white. Let's get a second black. Untapping this, we actually only get two blockers, right? Yeah, that's fine. Your courage is legendary. Yeah, well, no attacks here. I mean, if they alpha, we just go block, block take two I think that's fine and I also I mean they're at four so I don't know if Alfing is even the best the best option for them oh well then So I just killed him if we bound in gold here, right? Okay. Snakeskin Veil is really like kind of growing on me. It's just like a better Rangers guy, all right? Seems fine. Hmm. I think I actually want to lead for this. This is a black source. This is a white and a blue source, but we already have a blue source and a white source here, so. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit. 60 degrees? Good gravy. I think the AC is running. I'm like, gosh, it's getting cold in here. Is that because it's getting darker? No, it's probably just because the air is running. We play this so we can play Spirit of Aldergaard next turn. Oh, you think they're going to counter it? Oh, I bet they are. I'm going to play this guy instead. <laughs> Counter this if you'd like. 
Wow, that's so good. Oh, boy. All right, so we have white, white, green. Second black, second blue would be nice. I guess we already have a second blue. And we're still getting Ice Tom because it comes into play this turn. And next turn we can go Maya, Breta God Protecta, and still play a land. That seems pretty good. You know, if we draw a land. But... Sure, buddy. I got Bergs for days. I'm not going to attack. I'm actually going to double block the Bergstrider. Our hand's pretty stacked right now. Mm, it is less stacked now. I'm still going to chump block the Bergstrider. I mean, I'm just dealing way more damage. Okay. So we assume they have disdainful stroke. Are they just dead here? Yeah. I think they're dead. Boop, boop, boop. long hair get out of here all right well one 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 i think this is a better configuration all right Let's see if we can finish this off bone saws are ready it was a long two minutes you're right you're right <laughs> Ah, oh, this hand seems like a sneeper. Don't have double green, but we can, we can manage. Got a two drop into a three drop. Oh, no, 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 nailed it. We're going to play this now because uh, we want to be able to make sure we hit double green by turn. Quatros. Or rather, if we draw double green by then, we want to have them in play. Okay. <sighs> Do 
Ooh. Double Berserker. Gotti. Oh, that's pretty nice. Was it it's three snow permanents, right? Three snow permanents, which we do. I mean, we could have saved that for something bigger, but we have Iron Verdict and Wither Crown in hand, so I don't really want to take too much damage from these two guys and then save all our removal for bigger things while we die to these two two twos. Oh no. Man. Having a double black and a double blue is still better than just discarding this for no value. Well, that's unfortunate, but we're gonna, we'll just wither crown this guy, I guess. I don't really want to kill it because they just got another 2-2 two -two and then they equip that thing, so it's really just putting us back to, to square one there. Pretty good. I saved the monster for you. Wither Crown here gives us two blockers, and they're also taking some damage. So, like, if they manage to kill Pilfering Hawk, we can still block with the elf. But it also means we don't just have to throw away our elf for the for the block. We got a second feed the serpent. Oh God, that's unfortunate. Too many risks. Sure, that's fine. Well, that we are going to be discarding. Sure. That is unfortunate because Verdict does not kill it when they have a pick on it. I don't know what the holdup is. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on?
Oh man, Tom Scud's just using all their timeouts. Are, is our opponent just gone? Are they just never coming back now? I think their computer crashed immediately after they played Grizzled Outrider, maybe? <laughs> All right, that was kind of weird. Literally at the last possible second. Uh, get rid of the green. One, two, let's get rid of that thing. Not the worst draw. Is this guy in three's company because he seems like a roper? Wow. Oh, third feed the serpent. Seems good. Must be nice to have drawn all of those. I mean, I'm, I kind of want to just play this because if we get a land, we're just going to play it. Yeah, that's fine. Pitch that land. No attacks. So next time we can put it to three. We can't put it to four, though. Oh, this could be fascinating. Oh, boy. Oh, that guy's floating. Sure. That's much better. Okie dokie. So we have Port of Carfell to get back, like, nothing? Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's right, because they played, uh, okay. Got him. <laughs> Got he. Seems fine. Snakeskin Veil seems great here because they have uh, 19 Feed the Serpents. I think we've drawn uh, Tyvar Kell every game and we have drawn Nico Eris no games. I don't know which is better, but how many creatures? Click, 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 15. I got one Courser. It doesn't have a ton of synergy. Uh, 
Uh, this hand seems pretty decent. Hey, look at that. Now we have two Planeswalkers in our hand. Gold vein pick. What do you pick with your gold vein pick? So next time we can play Rhymewood Falls into Tyvar Kel, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, we're definitely murdering that thing. Spider-Man. I mean, I have nothing else to play, and I'm not just going to sit here and take five. If they don't have a second black source for Feed the Serpent, then... Then we just get to block this thing. That worked out well. You got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. So we can go bird. Elf. Kill one of these things. Probably the sculptor. And reason being that uh, that gives them a second black, which, I mean, they have three feed the packs in their deck, so. Hmm. So if we double block, Tyvar Kel gets sticks around for another turn. If we double block the, the Recluse... We're gonna block like this, and the reason is that we can make a blocker, play Nico for like one, two, three, four, five, like a million. Oh, that's. Oh, that's pretty good, I guess. Interesting. Remember our names together. We do need double blue. We can just play this for zero, right? I don't know if that's great, but they have one card. We can also just kill this. This is fine. We'll block 3-2, or 3-3. Three, three. <coughs> Still get to keep a Tyvar Varkel on board. And then we get to make a blocker and Nico Harris and kill one of, like, the 2-2s, two so... I mean, they're gonna. I think it's gonna be real kind of funny when we play Second Planeswalker here, but. Uh, so four.
save the monster for you. Both? Sure. Can't can't do anything. Feed the serpent number two. Never fails. Let's see if we can draw the... Oh, that's exactly what we were trying to do. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. The moments. Wow. <laughs> Scripted show is right. Yep, we'll just keep that guy. Okay, so we have two extra cards on the board, a 5-5, five, five, a 4-4, four, four, and a Feed the Serpent. That seems decent. Let's get rid of Hawk. I think it's... Yeah, that'll do. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on twitch.tv slash frankforminiaturers.com. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. And uh, as always, definitely consider heading over to Twitch and subscribing. It's the most convenient and easy way to support the channel. Uh, it's my main source of income. It's my main source of content. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.